Okay, you guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to highlight short hair. Technically, this is guy light since I'm doing it on stew, but I thought it would be good because there are clients that have pixie cuts and shorter hair like this, and it can be harder to highlight those. So I'm gonna show you what I like to do to achieve highlights on short hair. We are using Joyco Blonde Life with 20 volume. I'm using that for the highlights, and then we're gonna be going through and adding low lights with Joyco Luma Shine. 7NWB and 5 volume. I'm mainly doing highlights around the perimeter and then we're going to be doing the low lights throughout the rest of the hair to kind of break it up and give it a beachier, more dimensional look. So I'm doing kind of money pieces right here and then I'll show you where else I'm going to place highlights. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges I'm now working my way around the side and the back. I'm placing highlights right here. So I'm kind of encircling the top of his head with highlights and then putting the low lights throughout the middle. I do throw in a few highlights throughout the middle too, just so it's even and doesn't look all dark in the middle. But I really wanted the outside of his hair to be a little bit lighter so that it blends really well. Burn all the bridges between us. The key to highlighting short hair is making sure you work with the growth patterns. You're probably going to run into funny calyx and the hair growing in different directions. So I always like to work on an angle, which is why I went around the circle of his head first. And now I'm just angling within the interior of the hair. I don't really have a specific pattern or any reason. I'm just following the pattern of his own hair. Make sure you do that and you don't fight it because that's going to be the hardest part about highlighting short hair. You're not going to be able to part it off like a typical highlight. So just make sure that you work with angles and the shape of the head. Focus, I can't forget. I've been thinking too much lately. I just need to clear. Another thing to keep in mind when highlighting short hair is to always have really good tension. You want to make sure you clip the hair back, have it in place, and then when you're holding your foil, pull tension as much as you can. If you let the hair go and you get a little lazy with it, then the foil's gonna pop out and it's not gonna stay the way you want it to. So tension is really, really key. I think tension is key with highlighting in general, but with short hair, it's especially so. So that's one of my biggest tips for highlighting short hair. And then also just make sure that you're using tools you are comfortable with, the right foils, the right brushes, the right combs. You definitely wanna make sure you're using things that makes your job a little bit easier. I just need to clear All right, we're doing this kind of quick in between clients, but Jess tapped me out with 7N, 7N A. And now I'm about to get toned at the ball, but she wants to tell me what it is. I'm supposed to guess. Also, I just DoorDash cookies from Chick fil A. And they're sipping good. We are now toning him. I've let his roots sit in a 7N, 7NA for about 15 minutes. I just did a slight root shadow to help break it up and look a little more natural, especially because his sides are dark, so I kind of wanted to blend it in so it transitioned nicely. And now we are going to be toning his ends, and in the next clip I had Stu guess what I toned him with, and I will also put the formula up on the screen. <laughs> what do you think I toned you with? I did three toners. I haven't even looked at it. I did. Okay. Oh yeah, I guess you need to look at it first. <laughs> Let me show it to you. Hold on. Okay, now that you've seen it. I did. Yep. 9P. Yep. I don't think you'll get the last one. 10 VV. Nope. Oh, you use them on every It's another nine. Nine. I feel like it's nine B. Mm -mm. It's not like really ashy. 
Nine in? Nope. That's close. It's not an ashy tone. <laughs> I really don't know. If you don't guess right, it means you're not a true hairstylist. Nine. So it's not 9B. I already guessed 9P. It's not 9N. You were close with 9N. 9 and a Close, not quite. 9N? 9N something. 9N. 9 and a No. You never put an A on I know. I was wondering. <laughs> What's another one that has an N and then ends in something else? I don't know. 9, 9 and B. No. I don't know. Nine, I, don't even that, think that's I knew. A real I thing. knew you were. No, that is. Oh. I knew you were gonna guess that. That was close. Nine N W. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, I like it. Good. That's all that matters. You look amazing. Two out of three. So, will you buy me a candy bar? Yeah, I will. Look at that beachy, beautiful boy. Damn, I look good. Alrighty, guys, that's a wrap. I'm pretty sure this is the after of my hair. I freaking love it. I hope you love it. Um, thanks for following my bestie Jesse Gish around today and um, seeing my hands in some of the videos and watching me get my hair done. We love ya. Peace out, Girl Scout. We're gonna eat more cookies. How does this thing even? This is why I don't do YouTube.